Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2017 if you're watching this on January 1st. This is my first video on my channel for 2017. So excited and we're going to kick it off with Super Chick Lacquer. So Super Chick Lacquer has a collection releasing for pre-order today at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that is January 1st in case you're watching this any other day. And this collection is called Slay A the Mountain and it is comprised of six super hollow iced chrome polishes. So basically what you want to think of is a linear holographic, which you know Super Chick Lacquer does so well, and then a chrome metallic polish. And if you marry the two, that's what these polishes are. And they're all in very nice icy, um, just very like freezing cold icy shades. Oh, they're so pretty. This is one here. Of course, it's like a light um, teal, like turquoise kind of shape. So I'm going to give you live application of all six polishes as I always do. These polishes do claim to be one coater, so we're going to go ahead and check out that as well. I will link the website in the description bar down below as I also always do so that you can go and check these out and purchase if you would like to. I also have a code for you for Super Chick Lacquer which gives you 10% off your order and I will list that here but I will also link it down below as well so you can make sure and save a little money on these polishes. So let's go ahead and get right into them. So I'm going to make my way through the rainbow as I always do because it kind of helps me stay organized so we're going to start with the kind of rose copper shade and this one is called Powder Burn. So as I applied these, I noticed first off that they are basically one coaters, but I went ahead and did a second coat for all of them just to like, just in case, like just to make sure I had all my bases covered because a few of them weren't absolutely opaque. And so I just thought, well, let me go ahead and do two just for good measure. So you're going to see how they apply at just one and see if they're just good like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the second coat so that you can see how it would be. Because I know a lot of people like to apply two coats anyway, even if a polish, um, you know, does claim to be a one coater. So Powder Burn, as it is described, is a beautiful rose copper. It also has, so these polishes have linear holographic, a metallic effect, and they also have um, gorgeous shimmer reflex in there as well. So this one has gold shimmer. It's actually described as sparks of gold and silver duochrome reflex. So that's really beautiful. The next polish in the collection is Cold Rush. And this is a kind of muted gold shade and it is of course a linear holographic and it has sparks of silver reflex in here as well. So that's always fun, a combo of those two gorgeous metals together in one polish. This applies pretty similarly to the last one there. I could probably make all of these except for maybe one work at um, one coat, but I just wanted to make sure and cover all my bases. So here I'm showing you first at one coat and then at two so you can see you know, what you prefer. Next polish I want to share with you is the green one that I have on my nails here. This is called Vapor High and this one is an icy teal blue. It's definitely on the greener side of teal rather than blue in my opinion. And it also has silver and gold duochrome sparks in there reflecting as well. This was the one polish that I had the trickiest time getting it opaque in just one coat. Not that a polish being two coats is a big deal. I think like I said most everybody does two coats. Um, but this is the one that I just I felt like it absolutely does need that second coat at least for me for my bottle So um, I know that sometimes any polishes can be different bottle to bottle um, Anyway, this color is one of my favorites for sure. This one and the blue is my absolute favorite I did want to mention that these dry really fast. They don't dry so fast that they are hard to work with We've all tried those kind of polishes um, they don't dry that fast, but they do dry fast enough that I felt like I was good to go in just a few minutes without even having to do a, top, a fast dry top coat. And I think that's the nature of the metallic chrome in the polish. But anyway, actually that was really pleasing to me, so yeah. The next polish is my absolute favorite because you know I'm a nut for periwinkle polishes. So I just love that she created a periwinkle chrome and of course this has linear holographic as they all do and then this one has that same silver and gold duochrome reflect in there and I just love this one so much. I'm going to show you two coats as with the rest. I just I think this color is just absolutely stunning. I'm so happy to have it in this formula that's a really fun mix of the two things that I really enjoy. I really do like the metallic chromes and the linear holographics and you smush them together and you've got a really fun new idea. 
The next polish we're going to talk about is the light silver in the collection and it is called Bubble Freeze. And this polish is described as an intense chrome silver with that gold reflex in there and the gold is pretty apparent and I really like that. I love the gold and silver together. It's so pretty. It's almost adding like a little bit of warmth to a really icy cold polish. So yeah, this one was great. I'm showing you two coats. I really enjoyed it. And last up in the collection we have this dark polish called Ice Dagger and this is described as a charcoal polish and this has that same silver and gold duochrome reflex in there and this is another favorite for me. I'm showing you two coats here again. I just really love that gold in there with the dark dark charcoal. So yeah, there's Ice Dagger, another really really stunning addition to this collection. And with that, those are all six polishes in the mix. I think my favorites are the teal and the blue and then this dark ice dagger is so pretty too so those are my recommendations as i mentioned i did link down below where you can go check out the website if you've never tried super chick lacquer before they are a pretty standard company in the indie nail polish world um, of really great intense holographic polishes and i love that this collection just throws a little bit of a spin on that so that is my whole review. I hope that you found this helpful. I will be posting swatch photos on Instagram today to remind you to check out their website at 4 p.m. And I think that's going to be it. So have a great day, you guys. Thanks for stopping in to hang out with me. I will see you back for the next video. Take care. Bye.